Welcome back to Brent Tang and Brent Barnett. This is another segment in our ongoing Nothing But Options series and we're covering two up, two down. Look, I could show you guys a hundred different ways of setting up a kit the way I would do it, but that's me, that's not you. I don't know how you set your kit up or how you wanna set it up. But what I wanna do is show you the tip of the iceberg of all the possibilities that we have available to you using Gibraltar that you can use to create and customize your own kit. With option I, I pulled out all the stops and threw everything on a three-sided rack. We've got two components that build, to build this rack with. We've got the GCS 300C, which is the front curved rack. It's two 30-inch verticals and a 46-inch curved horizontal bar. The second component is the GCS 150C, which is a curved side extension that attaches onto the front curve. This is a 40-inch curve bar for a horizontal and a 30-inch leg. Now we have one of these on each side to make up the three sides. Now the reason that I did this is to show you how much stuff you can put up on this. I could have put those symbols in any configuration that I wanted, but I'm able to achieve the same exact configuration as every other setup, and I could add tons more if I wanted to. So I got the majority of my core here supported by the GCS 300C the front curved rack. I got my 10 inch tom and my 12 inch tom both attached to the crossbar. Now I've got my two crashes attached inside the front legs of the GCS 300C. Now a little addition because I could and I had the available space because it was easier to mount, I put my splash and mounted it to the front bar. On other racks I mounted off the side because I didn't have a bar over the bass drum but now since I've got tons of mounting space everywhere, I can pretty much put anything anywhere I want to put it. So on my hi-hat side, I've just got one symbol attached to the GCS 150C, this side extension on the left side of the hi-hat. Well that's just because the front rack is holding everything else pretty much. This opens up a lot more space for me to be able to add more symbols, more percussion items. The back leg even has a receptacle to be able to mount a symbol out of. On the floor tom side, the GCS 150C, the curved side extension, is supporting the, uh, the ride cymbal and my side crash. The main crash is mounted inside the leg of the 400C. Now the back leg is holding the china, and I still have plenty of room to expand my setup. Let's not forget about the sweet no leg option we have with the snare stand and with the hi-hat stand. I mean, if you're gonna go with a three-sided rack, you might as well rack up the snare and the hi-hat stand too. Option I1 involves some bars, some clamps, some drums, and some cymbals. Mix all that stuff together and you get a three-sided rack. Well, at least I came out with a three-sided rack. You guys may come out with something completely different. But this is the GCS 300C, which is the front curved rack. It's just a front basic curved rack, 30-inch verticals, 46 inch curved horizontal, and then two side extensions, the GCS 150C, which is a 40 inch horizontal curved bar, and a 30 inch vertical. Combine all those together, three sided rack. Now, I just offset the toms because I know you guys want to see the offset positioning. This is just the starting place. There's a lot of room to go from this. It cleans up the floor, you can customize it however you want. You can cut it down, make everything more tight and compact. You can build onto it. You can hold anything that your drum set needs. So on the hi-hat side, there was really only one significant change that I made, and that was the 10-inch tom. Originally, on um, option I, the toms were mounted directly to the front bar because they were centered right over the bass drum. Now I made them into the offset position so the 10 inch tom needs to be mounted to the side extension as opposed to the front bar. Since there was a height difference of about six to seven inches between the side extension and the front crossbar, I needed to use a longer tom mount in order to get the 10 inch tom to the height of the 12 inch tom. So I used the SCSP. It has a little bit longer of a down tube and it's an open socket so you can choose the right ball L-arm size that you need for your drum. After that, Everything just kind of fell into place around the drum. I had to slide the splash over just a little bit just so I could get it placed exactly where I needed between the hi-hat and the 10-inch rack tom. The side crash and the main crash are in their exact 
same perspective spots. Now this floor tom side, I didn't touch, except for the ride symbol. Now because I offset the toms, I have more space to put my ride symbol right here. So I moved it from an angled higher position to more of a flat position that's right in front of me. That's actually more comfortable for me. But all the symbols are in their exact same spots. So the no leg option is always great to go with with a three-sided rack. I mean, if you're gonna remove all the tripods off the floor, why wouldn't you do it for the snare and the hi-hat stand as well? Now to do that, what I did for the no leg snare stand is I used the GS MTL Mini T-Leg and I combined it with the GUASB Ultra Adjust Snare Stand Basket. I connected this entire unit, once I put it together, to the front leg of the rack using the SC GPRS bar. It's the stealth bent bar. For the legless hi-hat stand, I used the EA100 to connect it to the rack. Well, that's it for this segment of Two Up, Two Down. Thanks for watching. We have a lot of videos in the Nothing But Options series, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Or come to our channel where we have all our videos in the Nothing But Options playlist. Now, if you're interested in a full parts list of any setup that I did in this video, there's a PDF on our website where you can find the link down below in the description.